Let's see, where did I put the address for that darn meeting? I, I, I know I had it in here so... Hey, wait a minute. I'm organized now. I don't have to do that routine anymore. I have my handy day runner with all my appointments and addresses in here. I have my organizer software for my laptop. I have my high-tech TI time runner. But I forgot to put the address in here. Tomorrow I'm going to get organized. Does that sound familiar? Well, it is actually easy to do that these days, and we'll help you out by showing you the best new organizer software and hardware on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is brought to you in part by Intel, microprocessor technology for the software of today and tomorrow. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe, and with me today is Crystal Waters, West Coast editor for uh, this magazine, Home Office Computing Magazine. And in this magazine, Crystal, you've just reviewed this new Sharp Wizard Oz 9600, which right. is the top of the line uh, of the Sharp line. There are so many of these organizers out there, you almost have to get organized to figure out which organizer mm -hmm. you're going to buy. Uh, but let's take a look at this one, this new Oz 9600. Rona, give us a little guided tour and show us the features of this one. Well, the difference between this and the other wizards and other organizers is that there's a pen in which you can move around. We can choose different dates. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at today's date. The nice feature of the pen is you, you avoid the little fingers problem on those tiny keyboards, right. huh? That's been the problem with a lot of the yeah. wizards and okay. bosses. Now we see we have the computer chronicle, so we're going to go to this day. So just point and click and... And we and can so just on. move around to edit. We just double click. Mm. Now one of the nice things about the pen is you can actually do pen input in there, can't you? Right. Could you show us you that? You can do pen input in the scrapbook. Uh -huh. Now it doesn't change your writing into type, right. like a pen-based computer but you can draw pictures. For example, mm -hmm. you can do a map and, and attach you can save that then as a graphics file. Right. Uh -huh. And you can attach this to somebody's address, for mm -hmm. example. So G give us a little tour of the box itself. You can, you can get ROM cards right with applications right. that go in there. Show us that. There's a little slot down here. We mm -hmm. can just pull out the card right. so we can put in a dictionary or extra memory. And for communications, there's an infrared port on there also. Right. On the back here. There's a little mm -hmm. infrared. And like, how would I use that? If you have a sharp wizard like this, you and I can exchange information without having to put any cables mm -hmm. between them. Uh, how about output? Can I print from that wizard? Yes, there are cables that you can connect to your computer to trade information or cables to connect to your printer. Or you can get an infrared box that you connect to your printer uh -huh. and just print with the infrared. And, and I imagine also I can attach a modem to this thing so I can actually mm -hmm. use it as, a, as an online terminal? Right. We can look at the uh, terminal mode. If we click on here. You see we have CompuServe, AT&T, hmm. you can get onto MCI wow. Mail and download all your Look, mail that way. Looks pretty neat to me. All right, today we'll look at several of the organizer options, software for the PC and for the Macintosh, and hardware to put in the palm of your hand. Now the major competitor for Sharp in the palm top category is Casio. So having just looked at the wizard, let's turn now to the Casio boss. BOSS stands for Business Organizer Scheduling System. The Casio Executive BOSS model SFR20 is packed with all the basic organizer features like a to-do list manager, telephone directory, calculator, reminder mode, and calendar, but that's not all. There is a built-in spreadsheet, which is a big attraction for this particular unit. This is written by Lucid3D, and it is Lotus123 file compatible, which means that if you have Lotus123 in a PC, you can take the files that you have on the PC and download them into this spreadsheet and work with them. You can also create your own files, or you can use some of the templates that we supply you with. One, for example, is a mortgage uh, function where it allows you to figure out how much house you can afford. Optional IC cards provide extra memory and applications, like expense tracking, dictionaries, or restaurant and wine guides. A password key lets you keep all of your data confidential. Any data that you feel is confidential, you wouldn't want somebody to see if you lent the unit or it got lost or stolen, uh, you can put under a password key, we have a special key dedicated to that, and you can protect it with a password that only you know, or you can give that password out to a business associate or, or spouse if you want them to be able to see the data also. 
The other important aspect is the fact that they're PC linkable, which means you can exchange data with a PC or a Macintosh. Attach a modem to the SF9600 model and you can send email, faxes and pages. Casio is also working on the next generation personal organizer, a new pen-based personal information processor called the XL7000. We're going to try and, and make an affordable unit and offer a lot of value by bundling in a lot of content into the unit, things that may be optional on a computer or an organizer as far as software applications, we will attempt to put inside the unit so that when you purchase it, everything you need and probably everything you'd ever want would be inside the unit. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Jonelle Patterson. Okay, you have a desktop Macintosh or a PowerBook and you want to get organized. Here to show us two great options for you are Dan Chadwick, developer of In Control, and also with us Todd Lockwood, designer of Office Manager. Dan, let me start with you. Uh, and so our audience knows you're the guy who wrote FileMaker for Apple originally, right? Yes. So you've had a little bit of experience uh, in database management. Have you applied that approach really to dealing with a, a personal information manager? Yes, we have. Uh, we view uh, the things that people work on, the projects, the steps that they break those projects down into, the tasks, the goals, as really a database problem being able to focus on exactly what information you're interested in at the time, mm -hmm. uh, what's delegated to whom, what's important now, uh, and being able to access that quickly will make people more productive. So in in control, you're going beyond, I mean, appointments and scheduling and phone numbers and that usual kind of stuff? Absolutely. Actually, we've sort of turned the database problem upside down, whereas most products focus on calendars and scheduling meetings and appointments. While we do that, uh, we feel that the most valuable part of that and the part that benefits most from using a computer is looking at large amounts of information and getting just exactly the information you need, right. the to-do list. Show me what you mean. Now, you have a bit of a calendar up there now and, and explain how that relates to the rest of it. Exactly. Uh, there are two panes here in this, in this window. Uh, this is a list of all my to-do to items and should they appear on the calendar, Here's a calendar in both of So that's of these. sort of the normal calendar, here's what I'm going to do when view. Exactly. The interesting part, uh, or the, the real power in the product, lies here in the list. In fact, I'll go ahead and hide the date view. So you're kind of sucking all that stuff out of the calendar and saying, what does it mean in terms of what I've got to do, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. So show me. Um, here we have an outline of everything that I'm responsible for. If I double click on marketing here, you'll see that it shows me all of my marketing tasks. One of them is to work on this questionnaire and it has itself four things to work on. If I double click on questionnaire, I can collapse that or expand it, which lets me see the amount of, control the amount of detail mm -hmm. that I'm looking at uh, at once. If I drag this to a different location in the outline, you'll see that all the steps move with the task. So it's very easy to quickly organize a lot of information into an outline. What's unique about in control is not just the outline, but these additional columns. User creates the columns to hold whatever information is appropriate, whether it's clients or phone numbers, priorities, dates, and so forth. So it's sort of a, a spreadsheet database-y kind of metaphor here, huh? With a little outlining thrown into it. Okay, exactly. Uh, for instance, here we have a task, and it's been delegated to Dolores and its critical priority. If I click on the priority column and then sort, you'll see that the whole file has been reorganized with all the sorted critical ones. by priorities, yeah. Right, high, medium, low, and so forth. Now if I click on Dolores and match, you'll see that this is just Dolores' to-do list, again, sorted by priority. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to get these values in. Uh, you can choose these off of a pop-up list, and I can do that with either of these. Now, I have not lost the outline view. Anytime I can return to my outline, and in fact, the outline is the first of the three management tools I just showed you. Uh, the outline lets you control the detail and the structure. Mm -hmm. um, these additional columns let you keep track of whatever information you need. And the third is using the sort and match buttons to focus on just the information that's appropriate at the moment. So your, your date column is, is kind of the calendar, if you will. That's just one of your criteria. And that's the fourth major one. Mm -hmm. uh, these two views are totally integrated. If I were to click on a topic down here in the date view, it would select it up above here in the list. Mm -hmm. If I drag that to a different date, you'll notice that it quickly updated the date to be uh, the new date. Um, this meeting right here is a sales meeting at 10 o'clock. If I wanted to, like in many calendars, I could schedule a reminder for that. Mm -hmm. uh, one interesting feature of InControl is its ability to link a to-do item with any other document on your Macintosh. 
So for instance, prepare rollout plan. If I'd like to, if I wanted to, I can simply launch MacWrite here, and now here I am in MacWrite ready to work on uh, the actual data entry of my rollout plan. And so you can use it as sort of a mini control panel. Right, right. Uh, okay, pretty neat. Can I ask you to slide the keyboard over to Todd? And Todd, if you can crank up Office Manager, and sure. if you can do two things at once here for a minute while you're doing that. <laughs> Uh, I guess, Todd, you're an example. I mean, you, you're you not a software developer guy, really. You were running your own business, and you're looking for good information management software, and you didn't find anything you liked, so you figured, I'll write it myself. Exactly. And exactly. you came up with Office Manager. Yeah, you know, the problem a lot of small businesses have, uh, Stuart, is that there's just not time, uh, particularly a self-employed person on, the, on a Mac, there's not time to do the... Uh, all the little things that you need to do. And the problem is the time spent on the computer usually isn't time that's billable. So we're trying to give uh, those, uh, those people a program that will allow them to rocket through the routine tasks, of writing letters, uh, tracking jobs, staying in touch with people, so that they can get back to the things that really make sense. So is Office them. Manager kind of focused on the small business Yeah, environment? very definitely, definitely. We're really focusing on the home business, the self-employed business, uh, basically any business that has one Macintosh. Office Manager would be a very right, good choice. Run us through Office Manager here. Uh, we're now looking at the address screen. This sort of acts as the, uh, the center of the wheel in Office Manager. Uh, there are a number of interesting features. We have a button that speaks directly to the CoStar label writer. We do envelope and label printing, all the things that you would expect from a personal information manager. And um, there's a contact history field that records every uh, communication that you make with this person. And then you have various facilities uh, over here on the right. Now, we'll, for example, uh, create a personal letter to use store simply by clicking this personal letter button. Uh, then we click Create. Now it's going to ask for the subject of the letter. I just call it Demo. And what it's going to do is open up its own internal word processor, and it started the letter for us. Now this format. So you're not linking out to another word processor. You've got one integrated in we your We have uh, one integrated, but you also have the option of exporting out to any Mac-compatible word processor. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, now, if I did happen to delete this letter, uh, which we can do like that, and go back to your address card, you'll notice that it, it made a notation of the letter here in the contact history field, and it's even showing us that we deleted the letter in the date that it's it was It's kind of automatically deleted. tracking my activity for me. Exactly. Now, we also have a job tracking file, which is a simple database uh, that's user-definable for keeping track of jobs that are in progress. Um, and there's a point-and-click index that shows us each job that's currently on file. We just click on one, it opens it up. Mm. This is a, a user-definable screen in that all of these uh, title fields that you see associated with the data are soft and can be set by the user. And they can be uh, individual to each job or the title can be shared by all the jobs. Mm -hmm. Also in here is a very simple time log, uh, click to start, click to finish which uh, allows us to keep track of all the uh, time that's invested in a particular job with a total down here at the bottom, which could easily be translated over mm -hmm. to, uh, to your invoice. And uh, now we'll go back to the address file, and uh, merging a letter in Office Manager is extremely easy. The program will store up to 50 standard merge letters. Uh, you simply grab the name of the letter from the menu here, and click this name, and it would merge that letter to the person that's currently displayed. Two very nice products, gentlemen. Thank you very much. All right, suppose your organizer needs go beyond the usual personal and business needs. Maybe you're a lawyer, a writer, or a researcher, and you have to keep track of lots of different types of information. One good option for you is a very powerful organizer named Ask Sam. Anthropologist James McDonald needed a software program to search, manage, and analyze 500 pages of interview text for a study on adolescent drug abuse. It was very hard to find things. I was able to go through them and I was able to analyze them on paper, but I couldn't get at them using the computer. McDonald chose Ask Sam, a freeform database and text manager with a macro language that allows users to customize various search and retrieval functions. So I built a, uh, a routine that would allow me to um, add keywords and then go in and search on them. And here are all of the keywords in the database. I can move around this list uh, using the highlight. I choose whichever keyword I want, like pot. Um, hit enter and ask Sam will go in and discover which records have pot in the header and will output all the information. 
I wanted to be able to not only find these things, but to get them onto disk so I could really easily import them into the word processor for the final report as quotations. And as I discovered the kinds of things I was interested in, I was able to build routines that would bring them back. And what finally happened was I came out with what is actually a full-blown text analysis system. The ability to configure the Ask Sam software during the research process proved to be a unique and powerful advantage. If you use this kind of technique where you're writing your routines and developing your analysis program as the analysis proceeds, instead of the program driving the research, you discover that the research is causing the configuration of your analysis program to be going in the direction you want it so that the research methodology drives the analysis program rather than the other way around. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Jonelle Patterson. On the PC side, there are two excellent Windows organizer programs, each with unique feature sets. Here to show them off are Barbara Baird of Lotus Development, and also with us, Carol Foster of Polaris Software. Barbara, let's start with Lotus Organizer, and one of the problems is having to learn to use these things, and I guess you've opted for going with the paper metaphor, assuming I guess people already know how to use their book, right? Right. It's familiar, uh, and because of that, we believe that we've cracked an ease of use issue for PIMS. Um, what we found is people who need a PIM don't have time to learn a PIM. Exactly. So the notebook metaphor really helps uh, people through the learning curve. All right, show us what you mean. What I mean is that there are six tabs on the screen, and these six tabs are always in view. So not only does the user always know where he or she is, but they also know how to get somewhere mm -hmm. else. For example, if I were to go to the planner, which is an, uh, an unusual year-at-a-glance chart, I'm there in a couple of clicks, I'm folding out, and look how quickly I get to today. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to navigate very, very quickly across sections because I always know where I am. This is a very familiar seven-day view of a calendar that we've used as a kind of default setting. We offer three others, and in the event that any user doesn't know what an icon means around the screen, they're explained with a right mouse click. Mm -hmm. This piece of information and this piece of information about Computer Chronicles came through from that year at a glance that you saw. Michelle's birthday notation came through for my anniversary section. That's sort of color coded then, red. Color coded, red uh huh. Then. And these are two to dos. They're not only displays of my to dos, they're actually live so that I can mark this completed, get it off my calendar, and off my mind. Mm -hmm. And having been at the taping, if I want to make sure that that's gone, it's gone. Sorry, Stuart, up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. Uh, animated icons throughout the product to make productivity fun for our users. Let me show you a couple of other features because mm -hmm. here I've synthesized my information, made it helpful to make my calendar the hub of my day. Here's a cross-reference that I created to another section. Let me create one on the fly if I may. I'm going to pick up this, ic this excuse me, mm -hmm. and let's say that I want to link it up here because I'm going to tell this person about you. I just click on here once, go over to here, go into your address record, Stuart, bring up your file, click once again, hang up my icon so that I'm no longer linking, and I now have two links in place, one of which is that I wanted to talk about the Computer Chronicles show during that meeting. Mm -hmm. And when I navigate on here and move back again, notice that it takes me back to the screen so that the link is providing me with valuable cross-referencing information, but it's also letting me navigate pretty quickly. And last but not least, I think I'd like to point out to you the tools that are around here, and this brings us into the Lotus family of products. Smart icons, including launch icons to other products, auto-dialing, um, mail enabling. This product is mail enabled mm -hmm. so that it can help me move back and forth to my mail. And last but not least, to really make the pub, the PIM rather, the mm -hmm. hub of your day, we also include DDE links to other applications mm -hmm. on your hard disk. So that's Lotus Organizer. Let's turn now to PackRat 5.0, Carol. And I guess PackRat is more than just an information manager in a way, isn't it? 
Uh, yes, we have a new metaphor. We now combine the features of the PIM with those of a desktop manager. We also use a folder metaphor, which is equal to a workspace on the screen that you see. And you can have as many folder tabs as you like in any colors that you like with any names that you like. Okay, so I sort of have a bunch of file folders here, and we're looking in the phone book folder right now? We're looking in the phone book folder where typically someone is establishing contacts for people in their business. Okay, what can I do? In this case, we can search on the entire list or just by alphabet. We can pick up using a drag and drop technology and automatically dial the phone, or we can choose to move an individual over to our contact list. In this case, Chris Baker, we can choose to call him on lunch, and he'll automatically remain on my contact list. You'll also notice that all of these objects sitting on the folder tabs also have a instant options dialog box. This allows me to find out a description. It's a contact list as well as the ability to customize any of the items related to that mm -hmm. tool. Let's move over to the schedule. In this case, we're looking at a day view of a one-day view of my schedule. All of this is totally customizable. What we found out is that people using PIMS need to service the way their work style is. In this case, we're just going to customize this day view and move it into a two-day view. And if we wanted to have an, a more granular approach, we could also change the time intervals mm -hmm. to various segments. A uh, drag and drop is also very functional in this case with our calendar view as well. Over to the right here, we have a to-do list. Any of the to-do lists can be added with a task as well as establish a priority. In this case, I'm going to look at my marketing budget and claim it to be a higher priority. And here we see it move to the top of the list. And with the use of a button bar, I'm able to check that task off when it is complete. OK, what else can we do here? Moving over to documents, this allows me to really access the, the whole theory of information at your fingertips. Here I'm able to search on my entire list of documents or spreadsheets. And in this case, if I want to search on a particular link, I've linked a couple of documents to one of the contact individuals. In this case, we have equal, not equal to, let's choose contains, and we're looking for any documents associated. So you're really with doing you know, file management here, essentially, inside PackRat, right? As well. Yes, any of these objects can be drag and drop to a printer, a fax, a trash can. I can also set up a send mail button that will allow me to link to Lotus CC Mail or Microsoft mm -hmm. Mail as well. PackRat then has a variety of other business tools, including if you'd like to establish your finances for expense reports, checking accounts, as well as project management, where we can now view certain projects with Gantt chart views. Mm -hmm. And anytime we wish to add any objects to a folder or a new folder, here I have a, a couple of objects you've seen previously. Simply adding an object, and we've seen a contact list, is a click of the button, and all of that is movable and resizable. And you can actually launch uh, a program from inside PackRat? Yes. You'll notice on my system folder as well, I have a variety of tools from the Windows Program Manager. Here as an example, I can launch File Manager mm -hmm. if I like, yeah. or and I can have it sitting in the background. So really, this services that marketplace that wants to have all their information yeah. controlled in one centerpiece. Real quick, what about prices on Lotus Organizer? Uh, the suggested retail price is $149. Okay, and on PackRat? $395, and a network version as well. Okay, thank you very much. That's our look at Organizer Software. Stay tuned now for this week's Computer News on Random Access. In the random access file this week, Apple's Newton Message Pad is a hit with consumers in the New York and Boston markets, currently the only places where it's on sale. Newton will be available in stores nationwide by September 6th. The U.S. computer chip market will likely get a boost from the federal government. The Department of Commerce plans to subsidize research on certain types of chips for reasons of both economic and national security. Amercom has begun shipping Personal E-Mailbox, an electronic email program that lets PC users exchange email over ordinary phone lines without interfering with normal voice calls. Personal E-Mailbox sells for $49.95. Time now for this week's software review from Paul Schindler, provided courtesy of CMP Publications. Today, I'm going to cut through the confusion surrounding all the encyclopedias on CD-ROM. The best of the bunch, for most people, is the Grolier Multimedia Encyclopedia. Here's why. 
There are many criteria by which you can judge an encyclopedia. I think one of the most important is the quality of the encyclopedia beneath the CD-ROM, the basic product. Here, the Grolier, based on the Academic American Encyclopedia, beats the others hands down. Note, for example, that articles are signed and contain bibliographies. Not all the CD-ROM encyclopedias have this feature. In addition, the Grolier offers pictures, maps, and video. Again, not all the competitors do. You don't have to guess where these multimedia features are located. Click on the globe and you get maps. Earphones produce sound. Film produces animations. Click on the camera for still pictures and the movie camera for full motion video. Grolier has worked hard on this. The new Grolier Multimedia Encyclopedia, $400 from Grolier Electronic Publishing in Danbury, Connecticut. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Paul Schindler. Fans of Frodo Baggins and his band of hobbits can now follow his adventures in The Lord of the Rings Enhanced CD-ROM from Interplay Productions. The game features a digitized version of the Ralph Bakshi film, The Lord of the Rings. And thanks to Kroger's Market, shoppers in Michigan can pick up a little software with their milk, bread, and eggs. The grocery store chain offers a variety of business and educational shareware titles for $7.95 each. That's it for this week's Computer Chronicles. I'm Janelle Stelson. Computer Chronicles is brought to you in part by Intel, microprocessor technology for the software of today and tomorrow. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy. Video cassette copies of this program are available. Computer Chronicles also publishes a companion newsletter containing details on products demonstrated and information on program topics. To order a video cassette or a newsletter, call 1 800 799 4949 or write Computer Chronicles. Please specify program subject for tapes. All orders include a free software program for auditing software use and information on the definitive guide to keeping your organization's software legal.